Good morning, everyone. This is Not About Gaming. Very happy to have you here. Welcome back to another episode of Diluvian. Now, unfortunately, I lost about 45 minutes of footage, so I didn't get to show you guys what happened. What ended up happening was um, we upgraded our old iron minnow to a lionfish class <clears throat> submarine, pardon me, as well as obtaining a new sub called the Manta. Now, <laughs> In part of that lost footage, a lot has happened, actually. I now have the ability to dive down to 500 meters, and I have to go and procure a passport in order to progress further. So, as you can see, I will show you what my new iron, or lionfish, sorry. Okay, so there's the Manta, level two cruiser. It got upgraded automatically. Here's my current one, it's a lionfish. It's actually a pretty neat little sub. And I also gained the ability to buy the Glacium four, or six diamond. It's a pretty cool sub and it's 15 meters per second, very fast. Very, very, very fast. But I don't have anywhere near enough money for it yet, so we're just not gonna worry about it. However, I will switch to the Manta because it has more weapons and more torpedoes and more health. It can also hold more stuff. So it's it's a overall it's a better sub. It's not as fast, but I have crew in place now to make up for that. So I'll show you guys really quick what the Manta is all about. There it is right there. It's a very very pretty submersible, I think. I am quite happy with it. And then I'll quickly show you the crew quarters. Okay, so up here we have our helm, gunner, sonar, and our torpedo area. Now, our sonar guy has maxed out. <laughs> We've got enough spots for him, and that's good enough. Now, gunner, I would really like to get another gunner in there. But the thing is, is right now we're going through food and oxygen very quickly. So what I have to do is I have to try to save up some cash to get, well, another air tank and a lot more food. So uh, without too much hesitation, we are going to proceed to the next mission, which should be, oh wait, hold on. My bad, I have to talk to someone on my crew, I think. Maybe not, because they're ignoring me, I think. Yeah, it seems like all of, all of my crew is ignoring me right now. Okay, so without hesitation, here we go. Dive down to the depths. We're going to rocket past 200 meters here. This is such a cool sub. I am so happy that we have it. I think you guys are going to like watching the series in this one, I hope. It's pretty fun. And my radar now pings super fast. Look at that. And we've already... Identified that that guy's a bad guy. Well, let's go after him. Might as well. Why wouldn't you? Woohoo! Oh man! Wrong way! I'm going down. I need to go up. Let's lock on with a torpedo. There we go. That should do some damage to him. Yep. I think that did. Okay. Fire! Oh man, this sub does not turn as well as my uh, lionfish, that's for sure. Woohoo! Okay. Apparently, I have long range cannons compared to this guy. Well, that's cool. Also a lot harder to hit, because he's so fast. Eh! There we go, we got him. Yay! All right, <clears throat> up we go. Let's board this guy, <clears throat> see what they have, and get some air back. Nice, just like that. All right, anything good? Books, cash, and fish bones. <laughs> Not the greatest. Ooh, what's in this abandoned workshop? Let's check it out. Once we just kind of nudge this guy out of the way. 
Now, actually, funny story, most of the crew I have obtained have all came from vehicles or other submersibles I had to fight in order to stay alive. So most of them have actually cost me a lot of money. There's been like, I think the average cost of my new crew is about $1,500 per person. It's absolutely ridiculous. What's, oh, food and a repair kit. Nice. These are all really useful things. Now, if only we'd find an air tank. Yes, I know we have low air kits. We only have one of them. All right. So I think our mission is to go below the uh, ice palace, which is right here, and see what we can find because there's a passport hidden down in the depths. Okay, so we're already below 200 meters. I've never, ever seen down here before. You guys are coming along for the ride. And we're going to use our sonar because I'm a little bit nervous. Not going to lie. Good news is, though, there won't be a whole lot of pirates down this deep, I don't think. Also, kind of hard to see. Holy moly. This is kind of crazy. Okay, this is really cool. Okay. Uh, slow down our descent here. Man, there's a lot of stuff down here. Ancient shipwreck, abandoned drill house. This is so cool! Alright, let's check out this abandoned drill house first. This is insane. Yeah, I know we're low on air tank. That's why we're about to dock. <laughs> there we go. Air tank. All right, anything good? Uh, kind of, sort of. Ooh, got a door. All right, inside of crated goods can be seen wedged under damaged structural support. No, we're going to use an item. I don't want to lose any of these guys. They cost me so much money. I'd rather use a crowbar and make sure that, you know, I get to keep my crew. They're kind of important. Especially considering how much uh, they cost to replace. Which is kind of ridiculous in itself. Oh, we need to go up, not down. Alright, let's take a look at this ancient shipwreck. This is so cool. Look at that. Can I stop, go down? What in the world? Yeah, good God, what is that thing? What in the world? Okay, this is so weird. I'm like confused and kind of, kind of frightened. What is that? A dead drone. What the heck is a drone? <laughs> okay, that's new. That was so weird. They like came out of nowhere. That was the weirdest. What? It's like not even a normal. It's okay. This is so creepy. What was that? Oh man, I am so confused slash intrigued like it's kind of insane okay so I can't get at the ancient shipwreck let's check out this icer shipwreck see what we can do maybe we can actually like go over to this one do something I think I'll be able to get to this one yep just like that 
Nice. Whoa, another torpedo. Always useful. See, okay, now, why you guys don't see me use the torpedoes very often is because they require me to lock onto a target first. So it's kind of hard to use a torpedo all the time. But that being said, I'll probably be able to later. Who knows, right? Like, I just, it's one of those things you gotta learn how to play. So we're gonna hopefully check this out, see what's going on over here. Can I hook on to this ancient, ow, shipwreck. Good Lord, slow down. Okay, thanks, green fish, but I'd like to be able to see instead. I don't think I can hook onto this. In fact, I'm fairly certain I can't. Ow! Also, it doesn't help that you can't see anything down here. Hmm. Let's go quickly check some more stuff out. Right down here. We're at 360, almost 370 meters down. That's really cool. 400 meters down. Look at that. Let's see how, what else is down here. Approaching our new crush depth of 500 meters. Ooh, this is kind of sketchy. <laughs> <laughs> Low air tank. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, I definitely need to get another air tank, which is like $9,000. It's kind of nuts. I suppose if I wanted to be a real big jerk, I could like, I don't know, try to steal one from a merchant or something. But I'm not going to do that, and we're getting up. Because that is crush depth. Alright, let's go up. Oh, this is crazy. Alright, overdrive. Now we're gaining height. There we go. Okay, so I think that we're going to end this one here. Because uh, this is pretty confusing and I don't quite know what I'm supposed to do yet. The game is very, very finicky. But, well, I'll figure that out and uh, see you guys in the next video. So, this is not about gaming. Signing out. Have yourselves an absolutely fantastic day. Bye bye!